of you have noticed what appear to be light poles laying in the median on Wrightsboro Road near Barton Chapel Road. News Channel 6's Ashley Flette did some digging to try and find out why they're there. She joins us now with the answer. Ashley? If you drive Wrightsboro Road between Barton Chapel Road and Sue Reynolds Elementary School, you'll see them one after the other, each marked by cones. So I reached out to several agencies to find out what those poles are doing there. Problem is, nobody seems to know who's responsible. There are 25,000 streetlights in Augusta. 5,000 of them are owned by the city and the other 20,000 are owned by Georgia Power or Jefferson Electric. Nobody seems to know who owns these poles and the people who live around here say they're becoming more than an eyesore. These poles lay on the ground that could cause a problem right. and they have caused a problem. You know, I've actually helped during wrecks pick the poles up and put them on the median. Mock tells me drunk drivers hit the street light poles and that's how they end up on the median. He says the lights never seem to make it back up. They'll leave them laying there. And we actually had a time to where a car got into the median again and hit that pole, and the pole went into the other lane and it nearly hit a patrol car. We spoke to traffic engineering director John Ussery, who tells us those lights fall under the supervision of Georgia Power. Say the light pole falls in the street, or you know it's going to get hit by a car, or it's it's hanging, it's leaning. Uh, definitely give us a call because we'll definitely go out there and take care of it as quickly as we can, regardless of who's responsible for it. We also reached out to Georgia Power, and they told us the city is in charge of those lights. Well, I don't know whose responsibility it is. I just know it's a relatively new road. Looks like the poles should be up. My says with it being a new road, there are other things the city should consider to help avoid any more median wrecks. There was actually a wreck to where they wound up in my neighbor's ditch and the girl died. So, you know, I think they should look at the speed. They fly up and down through here. Usri says it can cost about $3,500 to fix one of those streetlights. And if you happen to see one of those that need to be worked on, call 311. Brad?